There are lots of ways that you can integrate Facebook Live with other social media, and I'm going to talk about that in this video. I suppose the easiest social media to integrate Facebook Live with is Facebook itself. And Facebook give you some pretty comprehensive instructions on the site as to how you go about doing it. Now, Facebook have some instructions on their help center that show you how you can share live videos. And as they say here, this feature isn't available to everyone right now. And they say that to start a live broadcast, what you have to do is log into the Facebook iOS app or Facebook Android app. Tap the uh, little icon at the top that looks like a pencil in a square at the top of the timeline, newsfeed or page. Then you tap the other icon that looks like a little man with a halo. And then you can write an optional description for your broadcast. And then you can tap go live to begin your broadcast. When you want to end your broadcast, tap finish. And your broadcast can be no longer than 90 minutes. And when you end your broadcast, it'll stay on your timeline or page like any other video. And it does say that you can block viewers during a live broadcast by tapping on the profile picture next to a customer's comment and then tapping block. And then you can also unblock someone that you've previously blocked. You can also hear, also on the Help Center, they have instructions as to how you can share a live video in an event or group. And again, it says to share a live video, go to that event or group from the Facebook, iOS or Android app. Tap the box that says write something. Tap the icon that looks like the little man with a halo. Write a brief description. Tap go live to start three second countdown to broadcast. And then to stop broadcasting, tap finish at the bottom of the screen. Now, these are the instructions that they have at present but things change quite rapidly on the internet and this is a brand new app and it is still evolving. So what I recommend is that you go to the Facebook Help Center and do a search where it says, how can we help you for things like, how do I share a live video in an event or group? Or how do I share a live video on Facebook? Just to make sure that these instructions are current because as I say, they can change from time to time. Now, a note of caution here. There are some restrictions on integrating Facebook Live and your Facebook page. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about them here because things are changing so quickly that by the time you come to see this video, they may have been taken off. Plus, of course, some restrictions vary from country to country. So you do need to play it by ear, really, when it comes to integrating Facebook and Facebook Live and just see what's available in your country. And also take a look on the Facebook website for their notifications about some of the restrictions to Facebook Live because it is so new and it is being rolled out. Another way that you can get the word out about your Facebook Live broadcast is to use Twitter. And you can tweet about forthcoming Facebook Live broadcasts. And this is a way to get the word out about your live broadcasts and about your saved videos. Although do bear in mind that Twitter does own Periscope, so you don't really want to do this too often in case they sort of, you know, rather take umbrage about it and shut your account down. So do be careful when trying to promote Facebook Live via Twitter. But uh, every once in a while, I don't think it could really hurt. And then there's YouTube. And you really can do a great partnership between your Facebook Live broadcast and YouTube. What you can do is save it to your camera roll when you're recording your video. And you can edit the video to make it more polished and more professional. Then you upload it to YouTube and your followers will be notified. And what you can do is include a link to your Facebook page in the description. And then people will know where you are. They'll know that you are on Facebook Live and they can be notified when your next live broadcast goes out. So you can work the two together very, very easily. And of course, 
probably the best way to integrate Facebook Live with other media is with your own blog or your own website. So you can give details of your next or previous live broadcasts. You can link to saved videos that are part of your Facebook timeline. And you can embed videos that you've saved to YouTube and people can go and watch them and then they'll know, like I was just saying, what your Facebook Live link is and they'll know how to sign up and watch your next videos live. So you can use your YouTube videos as a trailer to get people to watch your next Facebook Live sessions. So there you go, just some ways that you can integrate Facebook Live and other media.